Hello everyone, um, this is your English teacher, Alex, and today is April 21st, 2020. In our last video, we finished Unit 6, and Unit 6 was about daily activities and, um, discuss and how to discuss daily activities with time. And in order to do that, we learned about using simple present tense form and propositions of time. So we use simple present tense to describe actions that are happening right now or things that we do regularly, which fits really well with uh, when we discuss about daily activities. And uh, in simple present tense, uh, we have to use the word do or does depending on the subject pronouns we use, such as he, she, or it. So the question, um, for example, would be, what does she do in the afternoon? What does she do in the afternoon? And uh, also you need to make sure that when you answer the question, uh, which is in present tense form, you need to uh, add the letter S to the verb. So the question was, what does she do in the afternoon? And the answer could be, she reads a book. So here the verb is reads, R-E-A-D-S. I, I added the letter S because the subject pronoun is a she. So. Uh, that's the present tense, um, simple present tense grammar rule that you have to remember. And one more thing that we learned um, is that propositions of time are used to discuss certain period of time or time period. Uh, propositions um, include such as at, on, in, and from to. At is used for a specific time, part of the day. On is used for days, dates. In covers a uh, month, uh, years, seasons, period of time, and uh, part of the day, but uh, part of the day uh, longer than the one used in the proposition at. And finally, from to is used to uh, indicate a start of the time and uh, end of time. So it could be from, uh, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Or it could be from Monday to Friday, right? And that's pretty much uh, what we covered in Unit 6. So since uh, we are done, with unit 6, we will begin with unit 7. And unit 7 is about shopping. Shopping. Um, in general, I believe that everyone um, knows what shopping is all about, right? Um, as a warm-up, um, I'm going to ask you two questions, uh, which can be seen on the whiteboard here. So number one. Where do you go shopping? Where do you go shopping? Number two, what do you buy when you go shopping? What do you buy when you go shopping? So I would like everyone to first uh, pause the video and try to answer these questions on your, on your own. Once you're done, Resume the video and I will share my answers with you. Okay? Okay, great. Okay. Okay, so I think everyone is done now. Um, so let me share um, my answers with you. For number one, where do you go shopping? So these are some of the places that I go shopping. Convenience store. 
grocery store, supermarket, pharmacy, shopping mall. So I wrote um, only a few places, not all of them, because there are so many places, right? So convenience store, grocery store, supermarket, pharmacy, shopping mall. Do you see something um, which are similar? Similar? So here, the place convenience store, grocery store, and supermarket are actually um, similar, similar because uh, they do sell food, drink items, and household items, okay? But the difference between them are, are the, it, they're different in terms of scale and the specific products that they sell, right? So in terms of scale, so as we go down to so convenience store to supermarket, the scale of the product become, uh, is a lot bigger. So uh, let me, a good, a good comparison um, would be a, a gas station, a regular gas station um, and Costco, right? In a gas station, they usually sell food and drink items. We call that a convenience store in the gas station. And then there's Costco. They sell food, uh, drink items, household items, and they sell electronics, a um, bunch of appliances, and so many things, right? So there are more variety of items um, being sold in a supermarket compared to convenience store. And another difference that you can kind of remember is that usually convenience store is open um, late, right? They don't sell many items, but uh, they are open for a long time. While supermarket usually closes uh, around 10, right? But they're not 24 seven. Okay, and then uh, pharmacy, everyone knows what pharmacy is, that's where we buy medicines. And shopping mall, a good example is uh, Lenox Mall in uh, downtown Elena, uh, right? So these are the places that I would go shop and you would go shopping. For number two, so what do you buy when you go shopping? What do you buy? So for me, um, the things that I buy when I go shopping are uh, food, books, medicine, clothes, sporting equipment, electronics, kitchen appliances, right? And then you can say for, you know, for guys, we don't buy um, as much uh, other stuff. For example, I know you might say purse, dress. I mean, they're all kind of including clothes, sporting equipment, golf, um, tennis racket, baseball bat, uh, what else? Uh, swimsuit, electronics, we have smartphone, laptop, computer, um, kitchen appliances, uh, pen, and a uh, pot, food, food, uh, we have vegetables, meat, fruits, and books, medicine. Yeah, so, so these are some items that I would look for or I want to buy when I go shopping. So is it pretty similar to yours? Uh, I hope so. Or anyway, 
Um, so, but I now um, I think everyone is pretty much warmed up um, about shopping, right? Like the place to shop and uh, what to buy when you get there. But uh, since we're warmed up, we're going to get into our main focus for Unit 7. And which is, is about grocery shop, shopping. So shopping at a grocery store will be our main focus for today. Grocery store. Uh, so um, what are some words that come into your mind? Uh, when you hear grocery shopping or what do you see um, or what do you usually see at a grocery store or a supermarket okay that those are some things that you need to think about okay and then uh, think about it uh, pause the video for a moment and think about or jot down on a, a sheet of paper uh, the things uh, you would see at a supermarket, okay? And then resume the video uh, once you're done, okay? So, okay. So, as I says, said before, our main focus is grocery shopping. And there are um, some words that comes into my mind when I go grocery shopping, are shopping cart, basket, um, that's, uh, we use them to carry items that we're going to purchase, right? We have a cashier, someone that helps us uh, check out the items that we're going to buy. Receipt, uh, it's a proof of purchase. So after we buy our item, it shows that we bought the item, we paid for it, and then we we and then we can't forget about items such as um, milk, beer, juice. Those are drinks, strawberries, bananas, apples, carrots, onions, broccoli, sugar, salt, ice cream, chips. Toilet papers, cards, utensils, you know. So, uh, these are some words um, that you should be uh, already uh, be aware of or know about. Okay. And then these are uh, the words that come into my mind when I go shopping at a grocery store. So, uh, we often go to a uh, grocery store to buy food, right? But we usually look um, to buy a specific kind of food. So how do we do that? Uh, so we look for a sign or we can ask an employee. But uh, if I'm going to cook a steak for dinner tonight, I would go into grocery store and go to a meat section to buy a ribeye or sirloin. Uh, ribeye and sirloin are parts of the cow that people usually cook to uh, make, a, make a steak. So as everyone can imagine, um, grocery stores is, is actually organized and sectioned to a different area within the store. So I listed um, the aisle and the, into aisles and sections. So aisle and section, that's how they're divided in the store. So we have an aisle or section for dairy. Dairy is for milk, yogurt, cheese, anything to do with uh, animal milk. Okay, cheese is made of milk, um, yogurt as well, and produce. We have produce section. Produce, uh, it means uh, fresh vegetables and fruits. So whenever we, we are looking to buy uh, vegetables such as carrots, um, carrots, uh, onions, or broccoli, or etc., um, we are going to look for a produce section. Okay, and same thing as the fresh fruits. 
and then we have frozen section. Frozen sections are where we buy pre-prepared food, such as frozen pizza, right? They're already prepared but frozen. Um, nuggets, um, we can just uh, fry them when we get home. And then ice cream, you know, those are frozen um, items and you don't want it to melt, so it's gonna be in the frozen aisle. Bakery, bakery is uh, bakery's aisle or section is where you get bread, muffins, cakes, and we have deli section or aisle. This where um, sliced meat and cheese uh, for sandwiches are sold, and uh, also you can buy other food items as well. And then we have an ethnic section or aisle. This is where we buy international food items. Um, so typically in America, it's an American store, so you're not going to see um, Korean food or Chinese food or, so, excuse me, Korean food items or uh, Chinese food items or Mexican food items unless we go to the ethnic section. And then that's where they're going to uh, find such as rice, uh, let's see, ramen, right? Uh, and then we have general general merchandise section and that includes such as drugs and personal care products you know, it, it could be hair it could be facial product it could be so shampoo and then shampoo conditioner soap and you, or it could be uh, I didn't list it here but it could be toilet papers as I mentioned here or any utensils pens or pencils and then drugs, um, just any medicine, right? Like Advil, Tylenol, you know, bandages. So I think these are some useful uh, words to remember um, when you go grocery shopping, right? Um, if you want to find the uh, product that uh, you're looking for. Um, so going back to the steak scenario, if I want to buy a ribeye, I'll look for a sign or ask an employee where the meat section is, right? Um, so now, another thing that we have to think about uh, when we're shopping is the price, right? So I wrote some uh, prices here for oranges, bananas, milk, and potatoes, right? So let's take a look at this. So um, these are symbols for a dollar, cents, and pound. So I'm gonna ask you, in this here, how much are oranges? How much are oranges? And then I would say oranges are 40 cents each, 40 cents each. C-E-N-T-S, C-E-N-T-S, 40 cents each. How much are bananas? Bananas are 25 cents each, 25 cents each. I know that there's a dollar symbol here, but you're able to write cents um, this way as well. So you can say, uh, 25 cents each so how much is milk how much is milk there are actually um, three ways of saying the price or I mean two ways so one way is you can say 189 189 so how much is milk 189 or another way is dollar 89 cents dollar and 89 cents so two ways 189 or a dollar and 89 cents and finally how much are potatoes here we say 99 cents a pound 99 cents a pound or 99 cents per pound so we can say a a or per p e r pound this is a symbol for pound. Um, we're going to um, uh, 
do more uh, exercises for this in, uh, in uh, part three of today's video, okay? So for now, um, that's it for this video, uh, which is part one. Um, I want you to complete unit seven, lesson A, exercises on page 84 and 85, okay? Complete uh, unit seven, lesson A, exercises on page 84 and 85. And I'll, over, I'll go over the exercises in part three of today's video, okay? Okay, thanks for watching.